me ask you a question. I came out here on stage and I asked you to do one thing. I asked you to stand up and not one of you did. So my question is a simple one. How come? Why didn't you stand up? This is a question for you. Come on. So what's the reason? You didn't know I was serious. Yeah, yeah. I get that. You didn't understand what I was asking. Okay. Fair enough. It's the exact same reason your team doesn't do what you ask them to do. I've discovered that at its heart, leadership is about creating accountability. Accountability to the mission, to each other, and to ourselves. The mission went horribly wrong. We have been shot down in record time. Thankfully, it was a training mission. Luke, our new commanding officer, the boss, had overwritten our plans and changed them in spite of our objections. Walking into that debrief, I thought there is no way Luke would take accountability for the failed tactic. He's going to blame us for lack of execution. You can imagine my surprise when we walked in and Luke said, Well, that's the last time I do a mission planning. I'm going to leave that up to you boys. You see, great leaders know their team will never be more accountable than they are. And if Luke wanted us to own our mistakes, he had to own his own. Everyone is struggling to find new team members, to either replace people who left or to take advantage of the opportunities that are out there. Today, if a company wants to grow, their teams need to be more engaged, more enthusiastic, and more accountable. We only hold people accountable who think are capable. If we ask someone to do something that we don't believe they have the ability to do, and they fail, we don't blame them. We had no expectation that they would succeed in the first place. So why would we hold them accountable? On the other hand, if you know someone is capable of a task, we expect it to get done. Therefore, when we fail to hold someone accountable, we're subliminally telling them, it's okay, I didn't think you could do it anyway. My mission is to replace Thank God It's Friday with Thank God It's Monday. Now that doesn't happen overnight. I mean, real transformation doesn't occur in an hour or a day. It takes time and repetition. And that means you need a system. Over the last 30 years in leadership positions, I've distilled the essence of accountability into three factors. And anyone who applies these concepts can transform their team into a radically accountable force that acts as if lives depend on them, even when only livelihoods do. So I just finished watching Dave Rosenberg. It's by far the best presentation that I've seen so far. There's a lot of business leaders here and they really took a lot from his message and uh, saw a lot, of, a lot of good body language. They were motivated. It was a great look at how the military aspect of leadership can be applied to um, our side. Really liked where he was talking about the SOPs, that we really needed to have them. And he gave us a lot of ideas, very inspiring and motivating. If I had failed to hold that seller accountable, it would have been hypocritical because I would not be doing my job. And in fact, I'd be modeling the very behavior I'm trying to eliminate. All that work to create a culture of accountability, a culture with no excuses, a culture where people do what they're supposed to do, when they're supposed to do it, would have been for nothing. I'm Dave Rosenberg, and I've led teams and ran companies for over 30 years. If you want your team to act as if lives depend on them, even if only livelihoods do, let's have a conversation.